So, are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. snake's mouth. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Ah, smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. A bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. There's something down there. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is water, isn't it? Hi. We can beach over here.
Maybe if that was closer. Not gonna make that. We're not reaching that platform. Maybe if that was closer. Like I can still see through it. Maybe you should stick that in my head, for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. Say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yodman. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting feet? So 
but how do we get back out? Oh god, what's going on? Oh, it's well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to us? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake Bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do... This path you walk. Vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this 
this again. Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> I can feel this. Oh. Oh. I can feel everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now? kill you. You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me. I will protect him. I will not let him die. How touch it. This will all be over soon. This! It's bad. 
hurting now. Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Uh, ironic, isn't it? What?
Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you. I wa I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. I love 
do you even care? You, you could have walked away. The cycle ends here. Must be better than this. Oh. parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell that is my promise he saved your life he robbed me of everything and rage you will never change and you do not know me i know enough does he boy listen close i'm from a land called sparta I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. She seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a pair... gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But, but I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tears Temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanir magic is powerful. 
but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya, the one thing she treasured from their marriage. We only hope to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Tell me what happened with the stone mason's son. Dreamstur, son of Thamu. After completing his father's masterwork, the Great Wall of Jotunheim, he thought of nothing but making the Aesir pay for their crimes against the giants. Once, he longed to fight Thor, but tragedy had brought wisdom to Hrimthur and cunning. He observed that Asgard's walls were half-built and shoddy, for no Aesir god could be bothered with such tiresome labor. So Fiendthor adopted the guise of an ordinary man and made the Aesir an offer. He would build them majestic new walls, and if he couldn't build them within two turns of the season, they would owe him nothing for his labors. And if he succeeded, he asked only for an audience with the goddess Freya. Odin agreed, knowing the task was impossible, but intrigued by the stranger. Fiendthor made short work of it, of course. He had the benefit of his father's training and the aid of a magical stallion for fetching stones. Odin was not happy to find himself on the losing end of the wager, but he seemed to uphold his end of the bargain. Rhea was sent to meet the mason, and to her surprise, he wanted only to whisper something in her ear. That being done, he made his way out of Asgard, and when he found Thor awaiting him at the gates of Midgard, he knew he had been double-crossed. But he didn't care, because his plan was complete. It was? What did he say to Freya? Only she could say for certain, but I've had many moons to work it out. Harinthur knew that Freya loathed the Aesir, despite her marriage to Odin, and I believe he gave her the secret to Asgard's defenses. Some weakness he may have built in, structural or magical, which I expect will be exploited come Ragnarok when Surtur arrives to burn Asgard to ash, if not sooner. Looky who decided to show. Talk to this here ring. Uh, what? I can't hear thoughts from rings, Brock. It's talking to me! It's Unbari! Ha! Knew it. He says he went to the Velander mines to... observe his mistake. But then the Soul Eater attacked, so as he was being ripped apart, he cast a spell that removed his soul and put in this ring. And then he... What about all this stuff? Uh, huh? Anvari had a workshop here with all sorts of posh doodads and ornatory tools. And one beaut of a hammer. You make mention of it still in there? Uh, you're upsetting him. Your point? You fellas take Anvari with you and go have a look-see. If you find his hammer, I'll whip up something real nice for you. Hey now, don't go forgetting your entry stone. Ivari isn't happy about us taking this up. I do not care. I'm not gonna tell him that. Oh! 
And Vari says this dwarf is part of his crew. That he died because of his mistakes. He sounds sad. The ring's grief is of little importance, boy. like that. He's warning us not to go down there. Stop listening to the ring, boy. It cannot be trusted. It's that ring.
soul leader. And a traveler. Guard up. for me to ignore. Bunch of traps. I see no traps. Sounded so sure about it.
says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his life, and he's sorry he kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. is a fine hammer. And Vari says thank you. Can we keep him? We will talk to the blue one. Here, the alchemist's hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah, Anvari always was an asshole. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? 
A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra hope. You don't want it? Father, we can't do that. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. <sighs> Fine. So long as he proves his worth. Kid's a bit of a softy, huh? Well, he'll grow up. Suit yourself. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Oh. My brother and me got a new... Pr what do you want? With the whetstone and hammer you've retrieved for us, Brog and I can construct the Devegrathiker, dwarven armor of legend. We just need three more mythical ingredients before we set to hammer. Which are? Dunno. Armor's pure legend, and the details is fuzzier than a wolver's butthole. Do you expect us to find parts from a legend? Oh, Motsognir the dwarf king found two of them. Everyone knows that. But when he went looking for the third, poof! He vanished. Maybe he'll find some clues at his stronghold in Konungsgard. And looky here. A Konungsgard entry stone. It's got your name on it. How fucking strange. The stronghold's northwest of here, behind the Spartal. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things weren't according to the plan, <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fire... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. 
You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Huh, who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. dead. What happened to them? Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. Something's 
your axe. It's smaller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. She tell us. She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it.
Goodbye, Fay. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. She knew it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it. some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people was part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else?
sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. like the heat, Brock. Heat's damn useful in my line of work. Even makes space itself more pliable. Take those magic doors you love so much. Round here they all go right to one another. No prodding from old Brock. Go up yonder and wake some up, you'll see. Getting around moose pulls or cinch. As long as you don't end up cooked. Sure, I'm open. We'll scoot then. 